What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And we're back at it with another video. Now, we finished my childhood trauma abuse story. But there are some of my followers on Facebook who are like, Maribel, we want the fight story. Like, give us the fight story. Okay. Y'all are toxic. <laughs> like... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about that toxic and that, that fight and that relationship, and then we're done. And we're going to move on to positivity because I just don't like to talk about, like, past drama, past, like, stuff. Um, but I did want to talk about my childhood trauma, my experiences and stuff like that. So, like I said, you guys, I was lit. Okay, I was high. Um, uh, we were driving in the homie's car. <laughs> and uh we were turning up the song we were on the way okay remember we were at my job i called and i told one of the dudes i was like yo i'll pay you on payday i'll pay you gas money if you could give me a ride to my ex's house and he's like bet i got you homie we go to the house and uh <laughs> we pull up i said yo a park like this in case we got to just drive off so he backed in instead of like pulling in to the to like a parking spot he backed in into a parking spot because i was like in case i run out and i'm like go go we gotta go so i had him park in the front and i walked to the to the mobile home where she lived at and um like i said i was lit so i was mass slow right now i knock on the door and i hide on the side and i'm like shoot and then as soon as her brother opens the door, I'm like, what's up? And he's like, yo, it's Mary. And she's like, shut the door. And so I slammed that door up and I was like, what's good? Like you was talking all that stuff. Like, what's up? Like you was talking and a lot of cussing was happening, but I'm gonna try to blurt out all the cussing. I was like, what's up? What's up? You said you was all this and this and that. And she's like, yeah. And my ex minus you, my ex best friend was also there as well. So, and she was like, and I was like, you a hoe, da 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 I was like calling her a slut, yeah, a hoe, because I was just done. I was like, you ain't, and she was like, yeah, yeah, I am. And so she was like picking up, like, I think she had like a moo on or something. And she was picking up her little dress. And like, she's like, yes, I am. And she was like lifting her dress in front of him or whatever. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh no. And I just went up to her and I just rocked her. I was just done. And, the, and, and I didn't care about her hitting me first because she's already hit me multiple times. So this was just my lick back, my get back. And I was just going in there ham on her. I was just, I was so angry. I was hitting, I was just, bah, bah. I was pulling at her tracks. It was, it was, it was getting dirty. Like the way I was fighting was not okay. Like I was fighting, like I was, I was going out for like blood and it was very toxic and it's, and <laughs> it was very unhealthy. And then like, um, I just keep, I keep hitting, I keep punching her, have her on the ground or whatever. I'm pulling her chest up, da, da. And I was like, you ain't shit, da, 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 da. And her, my ex guy best friend, he comes up behind me and he starts choking me. And I was like, are you freaking serious? And I grabbed him and I just threw him off of me. And I was like, get the, and I just threw him off of me. I had this, I don't know what came over me, but I had the strength of a God that day, even though I was lit and I was running out of breath, okay? But we just going at it, going at it, bah, bah. And I was like, and I, and, I, and I told her, I was like, give me that phone I got you. Because the phone that she had on her was a phone that I bought her and I was paying for. She's like, no, you gave me that as a gift. And I was like, give me the dang phone. I was like, I'm taking that gift back. And so whatever, she's like, no, no, you gave me as a gift. And um, so then we're, we're, we're in the hallway. Then we get into her room. I'm like choking her, like pull, like, I, it was, it was bad, y'all. I'm punching her, like she bit me like she i still have a scar she bit me like twice one on my arm i think here like it, it's covered up here and then right here oh, i forgot where it was honestly i got it covered up like i don't know i had a bite mark and like i was like get off of me <laughs> and i was like slamming her head on the carpet i was like get off of me and then yeah i wasn't really letting her hit me like that she was trying to fight back. She was definitely trying to fight back, but I wasn't letting her hit me. Um, yeah. And it kept getting crazy in her room. 
I snatched the necklace that I got her and I think I snatched something else that I got her. And I put it in my pocket and I was trying to grab the phone. Um, and uh, my ex best friend was trying to drag me off of her and so was her brother. Like her brother didn't, her brother didn't want to get into it, but he had to get into it. Try to drag me off of her or whatever. Then we ended up in her mom's room. Or no, 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 not her mom's room. We ended up in uh, the room that I think uh, my ex best friend was sleeping in or whatever. And like, she's calling her mom. I was like, what's up? Because we, we were running like back and forth. I was like trying to get the phone from her. And my ex best friend was like, leave, leave. And her mom was on the phone, was like, punch that B, punch that B. And I was like, yeah, punch me, what's up? Stop being a punk, punch me, what's up? And so this dude, he was like, oh yeah, da -da. He was like, he's like, just leave. He's like, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to fight you, like, let's leave. And so I was like, fine, I'll hit you first. And I punched him in his face and he's like, he's like, did you really hit me? I said, yeah, what's up? Dude tried to wrestle me. He was trying to like wrestle me, take me down. And, and like, he like wrestled me and he was hitting me in my stomach. He was like punching me in my stomach. And I, ha and I got him in a headlock. And I was like, oh, you so lucky. And I was like, you so lucky I won't go to jail. I said, I s and I was talking crazy, y'all. My gem, like, the other side of the Gemini came out. Like, the darkness in me was like, I just want to snap. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I didn't. But, like, that's the thoughts that were going through my head. And he slammed me against the wall. And you, gotta, you understand, this is a mobile home, so the walls are very thin. So we made a hole from the wall, from the room to a bathroom, one of the bathrooms. And it, it just went into, like, went through. And so we made three holes in the wall. Boom. And then he kept trying to kept trying to punch me in my stomach, whatever. I had him in a headlock. Ah, da, da. And her brother was her her brother would try to grab me and they try to drag me. And then I and then I ran out of breath. Cause then we ended up back in we ended up back. I don't know what happened because I could still kept check, choking him out. And then I let go of him and I threw him on the ground. And then we went to the living room because I chased her and I was gonna grab the phone and she went back to the living room and that's when I got tired. And then her her brother and then him and I was like, hold on, time out. Whoo! I'm out of breath. And I let them I let them drag me to the door because I ended up on the ground. Um I let them drag me to the door. And then I got back up. And then she got y'all, she got a roast beef. No, the beef, you know the big beef like ones, the the hamburger beef that's like about this big. She got a frozen one out of the freezer and hit me upside the head with it. And I was like, were you really just trying to knock me out, stupid? Like, be for real. And I, and, I, and I laughed at her. I laughed at her. And I was like, you're funny. Minus, you guys, my shirt was all ripped. I didn't really have a lot of scratches on me or anything. I just had, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I did. I had some of her nails on me. Like, she scratched me and bit me and that's the most that i had i didn't get no black eye or nothing like i was in there i went through troop i went through troop real like i was so blazed y'all and i fought like with three people all blazed up y'all that's crazy anyways that is the fight story oh not yet not yet because when i left out the house and i was like you keep that phone blah 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 she's like God, her mom was like, oh, yeah, her mom, oh, yeah, her mom was on the phone and talking about, I'm going to call the cops if you don't leave. I said, call the cops. And, and I was, and I told her, I threatened her, like, I blackmailed her. Like, I was like, oh, blackmail you, blah, 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 blah. They told me to do this and that. And so I was like, get out of my house, da, 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 da. Never called the cops or whatever. We just went our separate ways. Um, we did become, like, no joke, we didn't become cool afterwards. After all that BS and that beef that happened between me and her. I would say a couple months later, um, me and her ended up like being not like together, but we were like kind of like friends, but not really, you know, like, and she, she told me about what happened to her after like I left her, like karma hit her and she felt really bad for the stuff that she did to me or whatever. And she said she deserved the, the ASS whooping that I gave her or whatever, cause she really did me dirty. But yeah, we, we smashed all that. We, we. <laughs> We smashed all that beef over there, so that's in the past. But that was just that was just what in the experience of what happened um, when I left the house. I went into the car. Homie was like, "Dang, you need backup? Why didn't you like? Why didn't you come get me?" I was like, "Man, I fought three motherfuckers in there." And I was like, "There was two guys." He's like, "Bro, you ain't." He's like, "You you ain't tell me there was no 
You ain't tell me there was going to be men in there. I would have went in there with you, dog. He's like, we would have fought together. I said, thanks, man. Like, you, you the homie. But, like, this was my business. I had to handle this on my own. You know what I'm saying? I didn't need no help. I'm good. I'm all right. And I was like, all right, you can take me back to work now. And he's like, he's like, I'm not going to go back, but I'll take you. And he's like, I was like, all right. And my shirt, and I was like, dang. I was like, I don't have another shirt. He's like, I'll let you use mine, man. I'm good. Like, you could just give it back, wash it, whatever. And I was like, thanks, man. My shirt was ripped. Like, she ripped my shirt. It was my good shirt, too. She ripped my shirt like crazy. And um, that was a fight story. Uh, yeah, I ended up really bad. And she ended up very beat up. And the girl that she left me at the party for hit me up, was like, why would you do that? I'm going to da 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 And I told, I told that girl, I was like, what's up? Pull up. You want the smoke too? Because everybody can get it. <laughs> like, I was at that point where I was just livid. You want to join in? I was like, first of all, mind your business. This is not your business. You don't know what's going on. And I was like, when you picked her up, we were together. We were, you know, we were a thing. So, like, you're messing with someone that has been with her for a year while she's telling you she's single. We're sleeping together. What are you talking about? And then she was like, oh, shoot, like, my bad, bro. And I was like, she's been, like, beating on me for a whole year and she's like oh man my bad bro like I didn't know that was going on like I really honestly I just I just thought she was you know she she had a bad body and honestly I didn't know that you guys were a thing she didn't she told me that you guys like weren't even that a, a nothing you know what I'm saying and I was like exactly and I was like before you get into somebody's business know the background on it there's two sides to every story and the girl she turned out to be pretty cool very smart too so like she was a college student so like me and her ended up being like pretty chill afterwards after I told her what was going on and how she lied to her. And me and her ended up being pretty cool. But I was about to I was about to throw hands to her because like you don't know what's going on. You don't know like you're getting into business that you don't know about. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah. And then uh, I think a couple months later, like two months later, my ex called me or whatever or the girl that I took to the 13th, the girl that took me to the 13th floor, me and her were talking and she said that her and her and my ex ended up talking or started like being a thing or they tried to date or, or she was trying to date her. And she said she still had feelings for me. So she wasn't going to date my ex. And she was, she talked to her because I reminded her of her or whatever. And I was like, what? <laughs> and so I ended up calling my, my ex or whatever. I was like, yo, what was going on? Like not, but like she called me first. She called me on. I think she called me on like no caller ID, and she left me a voicemail. And she was like, "Hey, like, how are you doing? I know you don't want to hear me. I don't. I think she was like, I know you don't want to hear from me, and I'm just like, you know, I just wanted to see how you're doing. Yeah. So karma got her, and uh, yeah, and and we don't have no beef after that. Like I, we squashed everything after that fight. After I got my lick back, there was no beef after that. That was like. That was it. Like we were cool. We like saw each other maybe like once um, after that, and that's it. Like I don't talk to her anymore or none of that. Like that's you know like my exes stay in the past. So once I'm done, I'm done. Like if we were like if I tried to be cool with you, like I was obviously not healed and I didn't know how to let go. Like I had my time with her. That was cool. I'm moving on. I'm growing now. I don't need that type of energy. I don't need that type of remembrance, you know, because that's just not who I am anymore. But yeah, that was the fight and that was the beef and that was the drama that y'all wanted to hear. Um, I love y'all. Stay tuned for some more videos because I will be talking about like other life stories, the things that happened to me as an adult and coming in. So there is going to be more addiction stories that are coming in, like party stories, like crazy, like club stories, like me being in a shootout and almost dying and like me ODing and almost dying. Like there's been a bunch of things that I've experienced um, as uh, while I was an adult and it just, it got crazy. You guys literally almost had like multiple clients. <laughs> so glad that I'm alive. So Thank you. If you enjoy my videos and just talking to me and just listening to the things that happened in my life, um, thank you. Thank you for being amazing and listening to me, even though like I feel like I'm pretty boring. But, you know, maybe that's just because like I listen to my voice all the time. 
Anyways, subscribe, like, comment, and I can't wait to give you guys more video. Come back on Sunday, 8 p.m. EST time for my next video. Peace.